here's what we got going on. This is an old winch out of a boat trailer that basically was welded right there. And then there was a little extender that went down at an angle. And then we could hand crank different things up with this handle here. And so the support here broke and this was kind of hinging. So I just kind of ripped this off to save it. So the plan is to fabricate a beefier stand right here so that this is more structural to this beam and, and this piece of uh, C-channel rather than just this tube. Okay, here's where I'm at. So, got this little hand crank winch. And basically, square tubing, this flat plate. This square piece here, the bottom essentially of this. along those lines. I'm going to shorten these, but here's an idea I had. The idea I had was to take a two inch receiver for a trailer hitch and mount it in here somewhere so that it can receive anything from a ball to a hook to an actual uh, winch um, they they make or you I could custom make a you know turn a receiver into a wit, winch mount for an electric winch. The nice thing about having the hand crank winch is that it doesn't need any power. So for the majority of things, this thing does great. Sometimes maybe I want the ability to use an electric winch and not have to bolt or strap it or chain it to the front. And this will give me that ability. This will allow me to put it right in, put the pin in. And then, boom, we've got the ability to uh, use the winch. Now, I'm going to probably reconfigure this a little bit because I think I actually want this lower. 
was initially thinking about doing it up here somewhere, but I almost think I wanted it as low as possible just to keep the strength down there so there's almost nothing that can bend or break off when pulling something up. And then, and then add this up over the top of it. Something to that effect. has some power I'm telling you like I've moved some heavy things with this hand crank winch came off an old boat trailer and then we're gonna add a couple of uh, of tie downs here on the front just a couple of loops these are 11,000 pound rating way more than it should ever need
So it snowed. I'm going to add, it's called a fair lead or a guide. Basically, it guides the line back into the winch. And so I think the plan is to weld a tab on either side here. And then that will guide it in and I'll be able to bolt, bolt the fair lead onto this. So I'm going to use these, this is a fireball square that essentially the two pieces go together and allow you to do different angles and things. But the beauty is, is that these are two squares all by themselves. So we'll square it up like that. We'll do one here, one there, and then we'll drill holes, bolt right through it. So now the plan is to take this wire mesh here and make a basket underneath this A-frame so that chains and binders can be stored down here or scraps or whatever the heck needs to be stored kind of out of the way.
Okay, so we got a better jack for trailer here. This one's rated at 5,000 pound lift capacity just right here, which is well more than it needs. So, with this new mesh here, obviously I need to cut a hole to make it fit. So, this is going to stick out past the bottom of the mesh, so I got to measure this one, not that one. And it looks like this drill bit is a two and a quarter, 57 millimeters, will be slightly small, but it's what I can fit through the hole going straight down. And so what I'll do is I'll just take the die grinder and I'll open it up a little bit once I get the, uh, the drill or the hole in there um, if I need to. So these holes aren't quite flat, so I'm just going to try and smack them with a hammer and just kind of flatten them out a little bit. Watch out. Watch out, buddy. Back up. Good boy. And this is what I get for trying to hurry. Because the broken one is a two fluted tap, I can use this tap remover. So essentially the way it works is these two tines go in, they slip on either side of the, um, the broken tap. that middle part hit the broken tap part and then see that was in so we've got to come towards me drum roll yeah baby
Boom shakalaka. not all totally rusty but might as well just use the rusty metal primer All right, so the plan is to make a, a winch mount for an electric winch to be able to be mounted onto a plate to mount into the, the current stand that I just built. So I got this old hitch, it's a nice square, solid piece of two inch. I cut off everything else. We're gonna weld this plate here, this bolt pattern, basically 10 inches wide and then 4.5 inches so that'll clear the plate underneath and that'll give us something nice and thick and solid to mount this to and then we'll we'll drill we'll mark measure out and drill the four holes for the plate
Come here, girl. Placing the winch cable with a synthetic winch line rather than the braided cable. got the new jack on working great this boat winch is it's kind of cool because it's got two speeds this we took an old uh, you know a, a breaker bar and basically bent it welded this so that it can't bend and basically use it as a ratcheting handle put a socket on either one of these and what these are these are your gear uh, or your uh, gear ratio selection. So this one gives you more torque, but it's slower. And so I think this is 12 rotations, or 12 cranks per one full rotation of this uh, wheel here. And this one is six. And so it's faster, but not as powerful. Um, this socket had always been here, and this, this one here wasn't, wasn't there, so we just recently added that one so that we have the ability to speed up certain times but if you want more power you come down to this one and this hand crank winch i'm telling you this this baby has got some power and so um basically we put a new synthetic cord on it so you know those they have a lot more give than a cable does and obviously it's it can you know they're made to be in, in weather the other thing about this is that basically it's got a forward and a reverse function right here and that allows you to not only crank things up onto the trailer, but also let them down, um, which is a really beneficial feature to have. The basket we put in here is nice and sturdy. It'd be good for chains and binders and whatever else we might need. These are for uh, a weight distribution hitch. And so basically they've got these arms that come out and, and hook onto a spe specialized uh, uh, ball that helps distribute the weight more evenly on the vehicle rather than it just being on the bumper like it is down here. So, so that's what those are for. Another feature that, that we added is because this doesn't stay here and you don't want it to because you want to be able to change it, you don't really want it sticking out, you got this pipe here that's notched so you can drop that down in and because that's welded down there, it won't pop out. It's just, it's always gonna be located right there. It's not gonna go anywhere. And when you want it, you grab it, throw it in whatever one you're gonna use. 
drop it back down in there and it doesn't get lost. Now, on to the double, double winch setup. So the reason this is set up this way is because, like I said earlier, this winch will always be here. It'll always be available no matter if we've got power, no matter if we, if I remember to bring this winch or whatever, it'll be there. But in certain circumstances, using an electric winch can be significantly, you know, more beneficial or faster or stronger. And so this setup allows that easily changing. So basically it's got a pin just like you would have on a hitch. And pull the pin out. And the winch slides straight out. And so normal, every day, this will be how the trailer looks. And we added this spare lead to basically guide guide the the line into the winch nice and steadily um, and it's it's built on a, a heck of a foundation here way overbuilt these are two 11,000 pound um, tie downs that I added for an additional place to tie things down or to you know to use to pull things up or whatever I mean there's a million uses for it um, so and then I added diamond plate because I thought it looked cool but yeah, this definitely is a heck of a lot beefier than the way the winch was before. It allows us a lot more options to, um, you know, when it goes forward to being able to use it. So, so yeah. Why don't we give this a try? Getting the uh, the forklift off the trailer here. Yeah. A little more. <laughs>
Hi guys. Hi. Good dog. Hi girl. Come on. Come on. Hi Ruby. Come here Nala. Hi Nala. Come here. Hi Lena. Oh hi buddy. So the nice thing about this setup is that when you have the electric winch in here and you're ready to use it, the hand crank winch is not interfering with it. And so that gives you the flexibility to not have to change anything when you want to go throw the electric winch in. But when you take the electric winch out and you don't even have it on the trailer, the hand crank winch is ready to rock and roll, ready to do whatever it is that needs to be done. And it just makes it a versatile setup to be able to use it for all kinds of different things, so. So this project is a big thank you to my buddy for always letting me borrow this trailer. This is not my trailer. I, uh, I use it a lot and it's been you know awesome to have when i need it and eventually i'll get a nice trailer but he is so kind and always letting me use it so i figured when i saw that the the winch was broken it was time for something a little a little better so i know he'll get great use out of it and i'm sure i will too so definitely a win-win Nothing like having a 12,000 pound winch in the front of a trailer. Can't get more handy than that. I hope you guys have enjoyed the project. Please like, comment, subscribe. But really, if you like this, this kind of video, stay tuned. I'm sure I'll do plenty more like it. Have a good one. Hi guys. Hi Gordon. Hi, Lena. Toby. Come here, Toby. Hi, Ruby. Toby, come here, buddy. Good boy. Hi, guys. You guys approve, huh? You eat nice? You eat nice? Get it. Go get the ice. Get it, Toby. Good boy. Yeah. Mmm. Dirty ice.